Good morning on this bright uh, Palm Sunday morning, wherever you're joining us from around the diocese and beyond the diocese, um, thank you uh, for beginning this Holy Week with us. Um, and we're continuing a psalm each day uh, up until Easter Sunday. We're going to keep it a bit shorter this morning because uh, I know many of you will be preparing to join uh, a service online somewhere near to you. Uh, that may be uh, in some part of the diocese or close to wherever you're living. There's going to be a Eucharist uh, for Palm Sunday here in the cathedral in Southall at uh, 10.30 this morning. Uh, but there are services uh, all around the diocese and in the city of Nottingham as well that you'll be able to join with. Um, and we're very aware as we come to a psalm that's an invitation to worship um, and full of joy, we're aware that uh, there are many people today who uh, will be uh, especially in our thoughts uh, as we gather to worship people who've lost loved ones over these past days from the coronavirus who are grieving. There are uh, others who will be feeling very isolated and lonely uh, in their homes and uh, there'll also be those who are working tirelessly in the NHS and in other services and uh, we want to pray for them, each one of them, this morning. So this is Psalm, Psalm 95, um, it really is an exuberant invitation um, and it's a guide really to worship and it's full of joy and reverence and the joy and reverence just um, go together so, so well. So Psalm 95. Come let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and, the hands, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the flock under his care going to try and compete with that noisy crow. Um, today, if you would hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah, as you did that day at Massa in the wilderness, where your ancestors tested me. They tried me, though they had seen what I did. For 40 years, I was angry with that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they have not known my ways. So I declared on oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. <laughs> so a wonderful psalm, it, it is, yeah. And I think the, the verse um, that just struck me actually, particularly in this time, and is verse seven. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. And that I think that just that sense of, of God gathering, um, the Lord gathering us uh, like a shepherd would his sheep with such care and, and tenderness, mm. gathering us together, um, particularly at this time. Mm. So I think that was a, That's a, lovely it, image. It's a comforting image, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's and the sense that, uh, of being gathered together, I mean, even as we worship through this day and through Holy Week, gathered together, even though we're, we're apart, um, that the Spirit is the one who unites mm. us under the care um, of God. Um, and maybe that's a special comfort for those who feel very um, sad not to be with um, loved ones at the moment, maybe with a, a, a member of the family who they can't see, um, or a friend, um, to know that somehow God's care is wrapped around all of us um, at this time. Um, I also I felt that the challenge um, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, the season that we're in uh, at the moment. It's a, it's a season um, where our hearts can go one of two ways. Either we become so much more hardened um, through this time because we've got to protect ourselves from the, the hurt and the pain and, and the, the fear. Or we can try and deal with that hurt and pain and fear by keeping our hearts open above all to God and that what God is saying to us in this season, um, that our hearts will receive that and will respond to that um, and, uh, and not allow our hearts to become hard to God. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to prayer, Lord, keep our hearts soft towards you, open towards you um, today, and particularly as we, as we come into Holy Week, and remember that you are our rock and our salvation. Lord, let's come with, with joy and thanksgiving for what you have done for us. 
Lord Jesus, you are the great King that we worship. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. So thank you for joining us. Uh, may God bless you wherever you're spending this Palm Sunday um, uh, in different parts of the diocese. And um, I continue to share your prayer requests. We'll be gathering again tonight at 5.30 to pray and join us during the coming week each morning for another psalm. God bless.